Hey guys, this is the DMX App Show. I'm your host Shane. Today we're going to be talking about this new uh, leaked gingerbread uh, from P3 Droid and Team Black Hat. This is the latest Motorola build uh, that's being presented to Verizon Wireless. Uh, a lot of rumors are out that Verizon is pushing out the over-the-air updates as we speak to a select few. I really don't know if that is true or not. Um, this version is rooted. Uh, apparently this is a developer's version that Motorola has. Uh, the public version has still not been rooted yet. Um, hopefully by the time the over-the-air really does hit and we all receive it, P3 Droid and Team Black Hat will have come up with a way to root that by then. Uh, at least that's our hopes. Uh, so I've had a lot of people ask, you know, how exactly do you install this version? Uh, it has three parts. You install it just like a regular ROM, uh, but we'll go ahead and get to it. Okay guys, so what you're going to need here is you'll have to be on Stock Froyo. Uh, your phone will need to be rooted and you will need Droid 2 Bootstrapper, not Droid X Bootstrapper. Uh, for some reason it doesn't work uh, with these files. Uh, to get the files, go to that link in the description, download all three files. You may want to download them to your computer fo first and then transfer them. Uh, make sure that they're the proper size, that they're all complete or else this will not work. Go ahead and open up Droid 2 Bootstrapper and hit Bootstrap Recovery and allow that access. When the success comes up, click OK, Reboot Recovery. Now when I say on stock Froyo, I mean on stock Froyo, not a ROM. Uh, if you have to SBF your phone back to stock, that's what I would suggest doing. Um, let's see here, as soon as this comes up, alright, go down to install zip from SD card. You should have all three of those files stored on your SD card. Choose zip from SD card and then find that file. The main thing here is you do not want to exit clockwork until all three files have been flashed. So go to the first file, blur version 23588.p1 uh, zip. Go ahead and click that. Go down to yes, install blur version 23588.part1. Uh, click that. This is going to take about seven minutes. Uh, so right here I'm going to go ahead and pause. Okay, so when you finish you'll see this screen, install from SD card complete, and it does tell you install. Uh, part one is completed. You must immediately install part two. So go down to choose zip from SD card, select that, find your part two file, and go down and install that. Select yes. Okay, that should only take just a few minutes. The first one only took about five minutes. You can see already how quickly this one's moving. Alright guys, when that finishes, it'll say install from SD card complete. It says you must install all parts before leaving recovery, so make sure you go in there. Click choose zip, select. Find that part three. And select part three. You have to do all of these in order. Go ahead and select part three. That shouldn't take but uh, just a minute or so. And if you're wondering what the difference is between this version and the previously leaked version of Gingerbread, there's really not a whole lot of difference. Uh, there's a few different tweaks and things, uh, but it's mostly the same. Uh, this is the version that the developers are going to be building ROMs from, so it's probably a good idea to go ahead and flash this if, if you're on the stock and, and uh, you want the stock experience. This is the version that you should have if you want root on your phone. Um, this is what we have for now. Hopefully it will be rooted by the time it's released to the public. Uh, but anyways, you're going to go from here and reboot your system. Go ahead and reboot the system. And the first reboot is probably going to take a little while, so don't panic. So you got your red Moto 
screen there, that's standard with gingerbread. If you had the leaked version, then you've already seen this. And also, in that link, there is a deodex file. Uh, so if you want to deodex your gingerbread for theming, uh, just go to that link and download the deodex file and flash it the same way we've just flashed all those files. And then your gingerbread will be deodexed and you can theme. So once this boots up, you will have gingerbread. And of course, it'll be like a brand new phone. You'll have to go through there and sign in and all that stuff, but you'll have gingerbread. Uh, so guys, it's as easy as that. Uh, if you want to go, uh, go on and head on over to my website, www.droidmoderx.wordpress.com. You got plenty of other video tutorials and uh, stay up to date on what modifications you can do to your Droid X phone. Thanks guys.